Hello everybody, welcome to Access. My name's Nathan, and I'm here with Dave. Hello! And we're playing Dying Light. Yeah. We've been playing Dying Light a lot. Yeah, and we've, we've been dying a lot. In Dying Light. Yeah. <laughs> and this is the seven things you must do in Dying Light. It's an open world game. We wanted to show you some of the stuff in it. We've had access to the code a bit early. What's this first one, Dave? This is the first one. Which this is, is a weird one. Find this sword. We found this sword. Like, there's not tons of stuff like this in the game, but we d I decided to go for a swim. And we found XP Calibre, which yeah. is a joke. Yeah, it is. It's a clever joke. It's a pun. It takes three minutes to retrieve XP Calibre. We didn't think it was working, really. We didn't think we'd be able to get it out. It turned out that the yellow bar was filling up very slowly. And look, you get 3,000 XP. But better than that, you get the sword. This was really early in the game. And you can see we we're like level three and level four on the, at the top there. Yeah, the, that's the agility and the kind of the, the attack skills. And we had no idea what kind of an amazing thing we'd found. It was just slicing people up. That sliced a man in four with one foul swoop. I, I mean, I could do something like that in the kitchen. Absolutely. But you, although you did get a bit carried away in it. This I was mean, me. I just assumed I could go into this really crowded area and mess everyone up. And what the, one of the, the things that the Dying Light does quite well is you can't do that. No. You, one of the zombies will bite you and then you should really retreat. I think that's what would happen if you went into a, a real so zombie do, area. Do, with that's, a hopefully that's going to be in the, in the full game. And yeah. you, should, you should check it out. What's this one, though? This is just generally you should level up your agility as soon as you can because mm. you get access to all the lovely, lovely free running sweeps. So the game is about free running. Yeah, partly. largely. I mean, so this, you saw there there's three skill trees and agility is like the one that will make you better at... So you just... You, the, the main spine of it is just simply an ability called free running but there's also like stuff like you can roll to avoid taking damage like that um, you can like partially kind of clamber up walls to increase the height that you can get up stuff um, and at the beginning of the game it's not as fluid as you might expect that it's going to be if you've been waiting for this game as like a free running thing but it gets that way the more that you play you just get better and better at it and then you kind of know your way around the world better and the whole thing turns into like a nice flowy zombie spanking thing yeah i think it's quite smart because it, you you have something to aim for like there's a lot to un lots to unlock but more than that like you just at the start of the game when you don't really know how it's going you don't need all those toys yet because you're still working out how to get around how the traversal works and what the city's like what you can land on what things will break if you land on them and yeah and it's so definitely a, it's definitely a choice to kind of restrict it i think some people will be surprised but it works for us yeah. what's this dave this is just this is uh, us messing this balls. is just unlock loads of the power abilities because oh. they are fun yes so this is us so there's specific so in the same way that you can do the agility um, you can unlock specific attacks, and some of them are our favourite. Yeah. Um, specifically for you, oh, you, you like the the big axe chop. I like this 360. This the 360 works, spin. It works with all two-handed weapons. All two-handed weapons, you can do this 360 spin. I mean, it's a bit of a waste on these two guys because there's only two of them. But you get into a crowded situation, you can you can do that. This is like the sort of ground pound, yeah. which is followed up by your favourite, I think, mate. The stomp. The stomp. Oh man, as soon as we unlock the stomp, it just changed the game because it really at the beginning of the, what happened there. <laughs> yeah, she's just fell over. She's, she's not well. She's tired. Um, at the beginning of the game, you're basically hitting people with sticks, and they, they take ages to, to get killed. And then by the end, you, you kind of unlock like a suite, as you said earlier, of yes. skills. So you're like vaulting over zombies, and you're really good at free running. And then you get them on the ground, and you can just one hit kill them. It's yeah. brilliant. I like this one. This one's great, and that's a great weapon to do it with. This is oh, the, that's my so sickle. horrible. That's my sickle. Yeah. This, yeah, dropping from a height with a single kind of uh, single-handed weapon. This is um, a double-handed weapon. Again, it's the it's the ground it's pound. The pound. That really shows it off. Like eight zombies around, Thwomp. no more. And then there's uh, the classic, the drop kick. The drop kick was the me. first one you got. Look at this. Yeah. It's super powerful. Well, this is my smart segue into the next section as well, which is use the environment. Environmental kills are important, especially at the beginning when you're not particularly. Uh, Adept. Yeah, fe uh, deadly. But you can still kick people into spikes. That's yeah, the thing. I mean, I don't know who's been leaving <laughs> these spi these spikes around. It's, it's a health and safety the nightmare. But um, you can, yeah, you use them. And, and this is another good skill, the grapple. This is an agility skill, isn't it? You and combine it with, I think it's just, <laughs> it means to get the zombies out of your way, but you combine it with the environment and you just have yourself an excellent time. There's the spikes. A, a rack of zombies. There's fire. I mean, this time, obviously, we've made the fire with the Molotov which is cheating a little bit, but you'll find fire everywhere just because it's a horrible, terrible city and there are like well, there, cars There's flammable burning. liquid and there's flammable liquid you can push them into the fire and you can kind of, you know, you can arrange for kind of kill zones of tons and tons of zombies. Or you can just go onto a bridge and push them off. And throw them off. Bye. Bye. <laughs> 
It looks so beautiful oh, down there. Poor ladies, all burnt. What a dead. way to go. Bye again. Bye. Bye. See yeah, you later. That, that's one of my favorite. I spent hours on that bridge just pushing people off. And this is what you were talking about, actually. This is sort of make your own trap. This oh, the is flammable, flammable liquid. Flammable liquid onto people. I wanted a cleverer way to set people on fire than a Molotov cocktail, but I didn't have one. No. So I just burned them all with my Molotov cocktail. There are better ways of doing it. Though. There's, there's the firecrackers, which are primarily for making noise, and there's burning, throwing stars. This is electricity, which which uh, is st still around in this city, thank God. And you can make little traps like this, like these... Um, Electrified pools, which are great. One point at which you kind of you fix fuses and turn on switches, and there was one point I got a trophy. I didn't capture it, but it was called Everybody Dance Now for making lots of zombies dance with electricity. Well, speaking of making zombies uh, dance with electricity, <laughs> what do you get if you combine a heavy rebar with some batteries or something? Uh, it's an electric <laughs> rebar and it does stuff like that. The concrete, the electric concrete. It's, it's so. There's, there's it's got steel, steel like the, the handle steel. It's so unnecessary because she's already dead. But so this entry is just about us making our own weapons, and mostly what we made were electrical weapons. And yeah. When it rains heavily, everybody conducts everything and everybody dies. I mean, yeah. that's that's the lesson that we're learning here. Look at that. You know, a lot of the the weapons that you'll find in the game aren't that. Uh, I mean, there are some great ones like the sword, but you know, you, it's all about finding blueprints that you can upgrade your uh, your weapons. And that, I mean, like this cricket bat was was ace as well. But this Sean entry the now man. is okay. um, lockpick everything, anything that's locked, lockpick it. This is one of the first skills that you unlock, a survivor skill. Yeah, unlock yeah. nice Nath. I see what you did there. Thank you. Um, and what I like, really like about it actually is that it, it, the first time this happened, I was walking by, I saw a, an ambulance. And I thought, I wonder if it's got any good stuff inside. And and it did, you know, and it's that sort of thing of, it felt really, really kind of real. And um, so ambulances tend to have nice health-related med kits and stuff inside. Mm. And then, then then we saw police vans, and I thought, I wonder if police vans have good stuff inside. And it turns <laughs> out, Nate, yes. that sometimes they do. Yes, they do. Like this one, which <gasps> has this gun dun, in dun, it. Dun, dun. The thing that, I mean, we only found, we played, I don't know how many hours. We played, we had preview code, but we kind of, we didn't stop with the story stop. We carried on going. But we still, we probably played for 15 hours, and we still only found two guns. Yeah. And obviously that might happen quicker if you're playing the, the full finished game. Absolutely. But just to give you an idea of how rare this gun was to us. I didn't want to shoot these bullets. I, I no. At the same time, I really did. Bullets are even more rare than guns. Um, but these guys, oh, they left us no missed. choice, really. I had to shoot his legs off. <laughs> yeah. I had to. Uh, and this is the the last of our seven things you must do in Dying Light. Let's and climb that's up. Climb up as high as you can and enjoy the view. So this is a tower that's also a safe house. Safe houses are kind of dotted around so you can, places you can bunker down at night because night is bad in this game. Yeah. Um, and we wanted to get to the top just to show you somewhere high. And safe houses are really cool, actually. They're sort of uh, a little bit like towers in Far Cry in, in that there's usually a bit of a puzzle element involved in mm. in unlocking them and clearing them out and stuff. Um, and this one, yeah, it was, was windy particularly up high. A lot like a tower from Far Cry, in fact. Uh, but you can see how cool the city is. That's, sort of a that's favela. All the, that's all the places. Burning. That's the HQ over there. And there's only really one way down from up here. I mean, there's probably another way down, but this is just the way that I chose to... I thought, why not go out with a bang? We, you could have pop. rolled at the bottom, you'd have been fine. I haven't unlocked that yet. Ouch. Yeah, there you go. So that's the end. There's our seven things you must do in Dying Light, which is an open world zombie game we have been playing a lot of, and we're going to have more of it on the channel. Um, David, this is the first video that we've really put out properly in 2015 with a game in it and everything. So welcome back, everybody. Thanks. Here's to an excellent year. Stick with us for more things like Dying Light and tons more on PS3, PS4, and PS Vita as the year goes on.